Hello everyone, I am very excited for today's live workout. I'm also a bit nervous like always, but we are doing a 50 minute session and we will do a combination out of abs, very intense abs and also some cardio and dancing. I will lead you through everything like always. I will probably talk nonstop and I will give you tips on the way so it's easier for all of us and also more motivating. And yeah, this is day one of week two of my workout plans because as you maybe know, I've done them for years. I always publish workout plans which show you which workouts to combine on which day. And this is Day, this is day one of week two and you can always find those in my app and also on my Instagram. In my app we have 13 versions now, different levels, different lengths, if you are busy and only have time three times per week, if you want to go 60 minutes hardcore five times per week, if you want to dance more, if you want to go slower, blah blah blah. That's why I do so many versions because I feel like everybody is different and two of those plans are also saved in my Instagram highlights all the time and I update them every two weeks. But if you want to have the full experience you need to get my app but it's also for free and you don't need to sign up or anything, it's very very easy and very beautiful and if you become a premium member you have all of the functions and can use everything that we have for you but you can just start right away with very minimal effort and time effort. I will put on my workout mode here so I can tell you how many calories we burned in the end and Dennis is behind the camera for the live chat I have a live chat right here. You can always type something in there. I hope everything is working out nicely for this live session. And the first part is being on the floor and the rest is gonna be standing up. Tell me in the comments if you are feeling good because then we start with torture abs, which is my new ab workout and it's literally torture, <laughs> but it's gonna be nice. We love the pain and we're always up for a challenge, right? Okay, get down on your mats and always remember to keep your lower back on the floor. Do not lift it off because that's unhealthy, but keep it on the floor. Okay, let's go. Lift your legs like slightly above the floor. If that's too hard, stay here. And then we have a slightly higher crunch than normal. So you lift off even higher, hold it for a second and come down. Come high, hold it and down. If that's too hard, put your feet on the floor. That's also fine. High, hold it and down. High, hold it, squeeze, 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 squeeze and down. High, hold it and down. Heads behind your uh, hands behind your head, and then we do a cross crunch. Slow and controlled. Lower back is on the floor. Keep the core strong. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time, Dennis, since the last live program. Your core is strong. <laughs> Extend your arms above your head and now we do two leg lifts and two drag knives. Combination. Two leg lifts and two drag knives. And leg lifts. Only lower your legs as far as possible while still keeping your lower back on the floor. And stay down, two starfish. So open, close, open, close, two jackknife. Two starfish and two jackknife. Slowly starting to burn for me. I've done this workout so often the last couple of days when I was testing and testing and testing and then we also filmed twice because I was not happy and I still took the first take so it was unnecessary, we hold it. Arms long above your head if that's too hard, 
put them underneath your butt, but I encourage you to stay strong and put them above your head. It's the extreme hold. If I can talk, you can hold, right? Yeah, so we filmed two times because I was not happy with the light the first time, but then I also felt like maybe my initial reaction of struggling is more fun. Five starfish, five, and then we tuck in. So in the end, I still went for the first take. Five starfish, one, two, three, four, five, and tuck it in. One, two, three, four, five, and tuck it in. Very good. And tuck it in one last time. Fun one, did the dying insect. So we go crossover and then quitter. Like an insect that landed on its back trying to survive. Keeping the core strong. Very good. Three, two, one. Head, uh, hands behind your head and bicycle run. Amazing job, keep going. Couple of more seconds to go before we have a beautiful hold. Hold the T I hold. So we keep the legs here, then we are like a T, and then like the letter I. T like torture, I like I am torture. T torture, uh, I am torture. <laughs> and it's also like a mini crunch because of the arm movement. Oof, that one burns like hell. Five. And release. Cross your legs. We lift the hip and lower it in a twisted motion. Twist it to the other side. Lower the legs down. Twist it up and lower it down. Very good. This works more of the lower abs as well. I swear, this workout is so much easier if I'm talking. <laughs> now we do the halo. So we draw circles in the air, like a big halo. Lift your hip off the floor, butt is in the air. Do it for your lower abs. And we switch directions, other side. And now I don't want you to give up. Put your hands below your butt, lower the legs. Hold it one last time. Dum, da -dum. The next song is motivating. Yo, yo. Uh, Stepping like Tommy from Belly. Hot in here like Nelly. <laughs> Hold it 10 more seconds. Keep your abs strong. Think about them. Squeeze it a bit more. Don't be cold. Squeeze the ass. So now we touch our toes at the bottom and then we sit half up. Use your hands for stability and for health. <laughs> so down, toe tap, and up. Five more seconds. Oh, I hate this one. The torture flutter kick. So we do flutter kick and we go up and down with our upper body. Let's see I think if I can do it without failing. Also the last one in this position. Hey, for a second, don't give up. <laughs> yes, I made it. Okay, one last ab hold, lift it, 
Squeeze your abs, go a bit higher. Squeeze the abs, lift the legs a tiny bit. Really feel it in your midsection. And eight more seconds to go. We can do this. Three, two, one. And release. It's not getting any better over here. We come into an extreme side plank, which means, which means we are in, oh my gosh, I cannot talk, which means we are on our hand and on our foot. Doing small pulses. Six, five. And we hold it up. Keep everything strong. Shoulder blades go back, chest to the front, tuck your butt in, waist is up. Every single muscle in my body has tension now. Ten more seconds. If that's too hard, you can go down on your elbow or on your knee. Three, two, one, and other side. So, up on our hand, up on our foot, find your balance and start lifting your weight. And hold it. I don't like no one, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you can tie me down Keep right, right. your loving on me, baby Whips and chains when you can tie me down Five more seconds Three, two, one And no elbow plank, surprise <laughs> I hope you're feeling good Let me check in the live chat. Tell me how you feel. How was it? I have to say for me it was a bit easier doing it live because of the adrenaline probably. Yeah, I know it was hard. Hmm. Okay, but I'm glad you're feeling good. I'm glad we all survived. Yes. Okay, so the next workout is going to be for our waist and it's also a bit easier. I will give you harder options on the way in case you want to make it harder and in case you feel extra motivated um, But it's the trained waist workout, which you can also find on my channel. It's a rather old video However, I like it so much It also includes lots of exercises that you usually don't see everywhere. So yeah <sighs> Breathe <laughs> And then get ready. We're starting in a sitting position and always think about the side part of your belly. I know I say this all the time, but it's so efficient. The mind-muscle connection does such a difference. Not, even, not only for leg days, there it does the biggest difference for me to feel it more in my booty and less in my thighs. It's really about thinking the muscle, about thinking about the muscle, and then also like knowing how to squeeze it in a perfect way. But the same goes for the abs because a lot of people tend to feel it in their neck or their thighs or something, but we really want to train the waist, right? Okay, let's go. We have 14 seconds. We start sitting, hands beside your forehead, and then we start crunching. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Crunch, back, crunch, back, crunch, back, crunch, and back. Very small movement, but make sure you lift your leg with the strength of your abs. You can also touch it to feel it working. And other side.
Very good. Three, two, and one. Now we do Russian twists and do three pulses on the side to kind of put a focus on the sides. Really feel them squeezing for every pulse that you do. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Very good. Lean back a little bit more. And fall down on your back. We go into the starfish. We can do the easy version with the feet on the floor and only focusing on the crunch at the top or you can keep your feet in the air and also have more tension on the lower abs this way now turn to the side keep your knee on the floor and then the only crunch with the elbow to the upper knee. Keep the other hand on the floor for stability. Lift up your upper body as high as possible, but try to do it with the strength of your abs and not by using too much of this hand down here. And we go into the straight leg. Now put this hand to the floor on the other side and now we crunch with the opposite elbow and the opposite knee. Now we try to go even higher. So you lift up almost all the way to touch your ankle. I know I always say toe touches in the workouts, but I can never touch my toe. Either my legs are too long, which I doubt, or my arms are too short. Now we meet in an easy side plank. We just did the extreme one in the workout before. Now we do the easy one. If that's too easy, you can of course lift your knees and be on your feet instead. When I'm around you. Now extend your arm to the ceiling and we rotate, slow and controlled, and lift it up again. Again, you can be on your feet if you want to make it harder. Do it slow and controlled and focus on the twisting movement. Feel how your belly is being twisted. Now, the arm goes here, the leg goes here, and we crunch it together in the middle. I also like to lower my hip and lift my hip for an extra focus on the waist. Down and up, down and up. Very good job. And last one. Extend and we switch sides. Arm goes out for stability, lower leg on the floor and we crunch it. Slow and controlled, focus on this part here. It's amazing for the ab line.
Dennis is yawning behind the camera. <laughs> Maybe he joins next time. And now we do it with a straight leg, elbow to knee, but extend your leg. Try to lift your body with the strength of your abs and only have the lower arm here for stability, not for cheating. And five seconds to go. And we cross it over. This hand goes to the floor, right arm behind your head and cross it. Lower your arm to the floor again. And now we reach it all the way up to the ankle. If you can, to your toes. And always stay here for a small second to really feel this, the burn and the squeezing in your waist. Up, hold, down. Up, hold, and down. Okay, meet me in an easy or hard or extreme side plank. And you hate me. Oh, I think the light is very good here. You can now see what we are working on. This part. I hope the camera is catching it. And extend your arm to the top and we rotate and open it up. Rotate down, open it up. Very good job. And one last plank exercise, extend your leg, extend your arm, we crunch it in the middle, hip goes down, hip goes up. By the way, I'm very, very proud of all of you, D doing such a good job in January. I see how many tag me in their stories, how many do the workouts, and cook the recipes, and cook the recipe of the day, and doing everything of primary. Very proud of you. Come into a plank and now we drop the hip. Always remember, abs are strong, tuck them in. We don't do a whole call, so no hollow back. Slow and controlled, keep the tension. Okay, hold it here and we do a low spider plank. So knee to elbow, knee to elbow. Very good. Keep going, don't collapse. <laughs> don't collapse. <laughs> And we hold it in one last elbow plank. Remember, abs go in even if it looks ugly. Don't stick your butt out, stick it in. And then pull your navel to your spine. Hold it. 10 more seconds. Don't you dare give up right now. Hold it. Very good, clap for each other. We did an amazing job. Okay, so now we can get rid of the mat because everything else will be standing. Can you still hear me? So the next workout will be the standing app workout. 
if you want to, you can grab anything that's near you, for example, a weight or also a water bottle. In the video itself, I used a water bottle or you can also use a book or nothing. It's really not so much about the weight here. It's just about like having something in your hands, which we will only need for a couple of movements. So not highly necessary, but recommended. Wait, the live chat. How are you feeling? Tell me. And also tell me where you are from, which country. I would love to know. It's always so beautiful if so many countries are together. That's also why I love doing the Christmas dance compilations. Because that kind of shows me that dancing and working out and everything doesn't need a language. Even though I'm talking a lot here, it doesn't need a language. And all countries just do it together. And it's like we speak one language, right? Even though we maybe don't understand each other. Huh? No, language of sweat, if anything, not swear. Ah, I thought you meant you said swear like um, beschimpfen, because they always beschimpfen me. Okay, let's go. So, one leg goes back and then crunch it to the front, crunch it to the elbow. This one really needs some mind muscle connection Oops, and balance. Think about the abs. But sometimes after working out so much of abs on the floor, I really feel like standing up. And even if the burn is not the same, the burn is different. The leg cross over and then crunch it like this. So the burn is different. And most of the times you feel it more on day two. So on the next day when you're sore, but you should not underestimate standing ab workouts. Crunch, crunch. And we go to the other side. So one leg goes back and then crunch it to the front. Cross it over and crunch. Cross up the back and crunch. Bird and confetti. To tell them don't get me. Cause I'm my body fully covered in confetti. Singing da 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 da. Now, grab your Gegenstand, grab whatever you have, or nothing, lower it down around the world, lower it down again. And now, think about your abs leading the way. Not your arms, not your back, but think about how you squeeze right side, left side, and down. Huh? I think about, I don't know, I think about tensing it, also dass ich es anspanne, weißt du, dann mache ich so, anspanne. No, no. No, I don't have a picture in my head. And now, bring it up and we do a starfish slide. So working the other side of the waist right away. Mm -hmm. 
and bring down the weight in front of your belly and we twist quick keep your abs your abs <laughs> keep your abs engaged super strong tension everywhere Dennis, maybe this is the definition of ein Körpergefühl haben. So you know which part feels like what and how you can tense each body part. And other side, oblique crunch. Huh? Yeah, I think about it. Otherwise, I couldn't. Hmm. And we have to think that they don't even hear you because you don't have a microphone, right? And three, two, one. And bring it up above your head. Now slide down your leg. Keep everything nice and engaged. Your chest is open. Boobs are looking to the front. Slide it down and up. Focus is on the side. Down and up. Look to the front if that makes it easier with balance or look up to the weight. Bring down the weight and we do knee lift, twist, twist, knee lift. Remember, keep your abs squeezed. And drop your Gegenstand. And now, we go diagonally to the back and then squeeze it on the side. Very good. Find your balance and then squeeze the waist. Straight leg. And other side, diagonally to the back and squeeze it on the side. I'm already mentally thinking about the party dance, which is next. Whoa, whoa. 
and other side. This song has such a difficult voice like such a difficult voice level. I cannot sing to this one. It's too high for me. But I love it. Oops. Grab your weight if you want to. And we twist it very slow. Imagine your abs go like this. And then we twist, always keeping the tension, like a robot. Now turn to the side, go down, and now lift the weight up by pulling in your belly, it's like a vacuum. And then give it an extra squeeze at the top. <laughs> and hold it, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Ooh. Very good. How are you feeling? Are you ready to dance? Next is the party dance. And so the party dance, that's the video I released shortly before New Year's Eve. And it's a dance workout on super amazing hits. Something you can for sure sing along to. I will maybe also sing along in a second. And I had such a hard time creating this workout. It was so difficult for me, I don't know why. It took me so many days, so many levels of frustration until it finally came together. I mean, I'm used to that it always takes me some time and then suddenly it makes click and everything is clear to me regarding the choreography. But this one killed me. It was so hard. But that's why I'm also extra happy about the result and the choreography in the end. And I hope you like it. And if you haven't done it until now, just try to join and whenever it's too hard for you. Maybe do squats or high knees or running in between, but don't quit. Just have fun, enjoy the music. Um, and if you do it a second or a third time, it's always easier to nail the choreography and remember everything. So if this is your first time, don't be too hard on yourself and just do running or high knees in case something gets too difficult for you. Do we have a deal? I hope so. Crack, crack, crack. How does loud the microphone? I must have just the dance bein schwingen. Schwingen wir mal das Tanzbein. We are starting in five seconds. Let's go. I'm excited. Oh no, 20 seconds more. It's crazy how nice this bra has a push-up effect, right? Extend your arms and twist it. It always is. It's just the way it goes. It's like I waited so long for this. I wonder if it shows. <laughs> and two times the hit. If you listen to TikTok. 
Give it your all and smash it. Hit it four times. This was the second to last video. Now we have the heartbeat on fire left, which is my favorite. So if you made it until here, stay for the end. I have to get something to drink. Woo! So, how are you feeling? Did my ponytail survive? It did. Uh, tell me in the live chat, how are you feeling? Are you sweating? I felt like it was not so exhausting when I did it, but now kind of the sweat is coming to me. I'm sweating. I'm glad you're feeling good. 10 more minutes to go, and those are literally my favorite 10 minutes. Whew. The next workout is not as dancey. It is more, it's not dancey, it's more, more, yeah, like hardcore style. It's like high intensity, but on the music to techno and drum and bass um, kind of music. So it's a bit harder than what we normally have, but that also makes me extra motivated. Let's go. Check it out. And please give it all you get for the last workout. You are here with me anyways. So take all the energy you have, focus, and then make the movement big. Focus. Um, Chulak? I find you very attractive. Would you? Um, I find you very attractive. We start um, with high knees on the beat. Would you go to bed with me? Uh, yes, you will. Hands 
together. Infinity.
Very good. Last one. Now, maximum energy, please. You can do this. And to the front. And to the back. Last couple of minutes, give it your all. Oh, arms. last part and I can also announce that I will most likely sorry, can I talk again? most likely do a techno only music hit workout <laughs> in the end of January I'm planning for it the next the next one that I will upload is um, for your back at home without equipment so more of muscles strength on the floor very new exercises and focus on your posture and on your back muscles but the one afterwards I'm planning to do a techno style only hit cardio workout which is very similar to what we just did in the very end and I'll be very excited for it because I am very excited for it I'm glad you're feeling good and by the way, Dennis and me are baking on Sunday on Instagram. So if you want to join us, we will also do it like a Q&A. You can ask us anything. Dennis might or might not have a special day on that day. <laughs> we 
what could it be? <laughs> Is it maybe his birthday? <laughs> so we are kind of celebrating together and he wished to eat and bake some muffins. So we are baking the cherry chocolate muffins, which are like a classic in our family. We always took them to school with us whenever somebody had birthday. That was like the thing that my mom did for us. And we were baking that one on Sunday. <laughs> you can find the recipe for free. I put it into the free section two days ago um, in my app. And you can find the link also on Instagram so you don't need to search for it. But in any case, I also put it to the top of the home feed in my pan up. <sighs> oh, how many calories we burned? So we burned 300 calories. And I will end my workout just now. I can show you what my... Huh? Half a pizza. Half a pizza, yeah. But I have a small body. You would have, you would have burned more. It's like all dependent on your height and weight. And so our um, it was steadily increasing. Can they see it? If you focus on the camera. No. No. Also, are they by our house? Of the display, I say. So in any case, I will tell you, my maximum pulse was 187, so almost 190 in the very end of heartbeat on fire, because my heartbeat was on fire, right? <laughs> and yeah, we were mainly, in case you were just like me, we were mainly in the fat burning and in the aerob state, and then also in the anaerob state, and then also in extreme. So it was a very extreme workout. <laughs> I hope you're feeling good. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for joining on this Monday evening. If you trained and got yourself motivated, thumbs up to you. I'm very proud of you. Sending you lots of kisses. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram so you always see what I'm doing each day and what kind of news I have for you. Because on Instagram, I update everything every single day. And on YouTube, we only have the workout videos. Sending you lots of kisses. And a heart in the chat. Heart, heart, heart. Love you. And see you next time.